Hello friends, I hope you are doing okay during these difficult times. I know it's been really stressful lately, so please know that we're all in this together. Um, I miss you, I care about you, and I hope you're doing okay. I want to take a few minutes to talk about anxiety and depression, which is something that you may or may not have dealt with in the past, or maybe you are dealing with it for the first time during these really, really stressful events. Uh, please know that these are perfectly normal reactions to what we're going through right now. Um, so you may wonder what, what might anxiety or depression feel like? Um, typical symptoms could be you know, sadness, loneliness, uh, feelings of hopelessness, um, lack of energy, loss of appetite, or maybe eating too much, sleeping too much, not sleeping enough, um, excessive worry, um, maybe even irritability or being grumpy or just feeling like you're not present, feeling like you're not connected, um, getting caught daydreaming and um, maybe even just zoning out in front of the TV or in front of video games for hours and hours and hours. Um, those are signs that maybe you need to take a step back and take care of yourself. And the most important way to take care of ourselves during this difficult time is to connect with each other. And I know we're not able to physically connect with each other outside of our families, uh, but that's really what we need to do. That is first and foremost. So make sure that you're connecting with your families in your home and, and talking and sharing about your feelings and spending quality time together, playing games, doing art, um, maybe even doing uh, yoga or meditation. Those are really beneficial. Um, some other things that's really, really helpful for anxiety or depression uh, could be journaling. Make sure you're uh, writing down your feelings or even sharing with them. If you already have a therapist, make sure you're staying in contact with your therapist. Uh, the Guidance Center is still up and running. If you have a therapist at the Guidance Center, uh, reach out to them and make sure that you're following through with your appointments with them. Uh, they care about you and they're doing everything they can to help. Um, some other things that we can do that are really important is make sure you're getting good sleep. Uh, make sure you're exercising. If uh, there's not a lot of place to exercise, uh, dance in your living room. Um, maybe you can go on a walk around the block as long as you're maintaining safe social distancing. Uh, walk your dog, um, you know, do some jumping jacks, uh, run in place. Exercise is really, really healthy. Eating healthy is really important too. So make sure you're connected, make sure you're having fun. Uh, make sure you're reaching out um, and be aware of, uh, of your body and listen to your body. If you're having a really hard time, um, our breathing is really important. Make sure that you're um, focusing on your breathing. If you need help with this, uh, search YouTube or search the internet for relaxation breathing, deep breathing techniques, meditation techniques, guided imagery, even do yoga in your living room. Even if you've never done it before, it, just do what you're comfortable with. These all kind of seem like silly things, but they're so, so healthy for our mental health and our physical health. So um, please uh, try these type of activities, but most importantly, stay connected. Uh, we hope to stay connected with you, um, at least in our hearts and our minds. We're thinking about you. We care about you. And we're going to get through this together, and we'll see you soon. Take care.